your very first step that you want to do is take the holder for the oven and put place the connector in it so that it could heat up while we were doing the other steps. That takes about five minutes. We're to gonna heat put up. the strain relief boot on and the crimp ring, which we will not be using until later on after all the other steps have been complete. Next step, you're gonna wanna tie this into a slip knot. Not too tight and not too loose. This makes it so that the buffer tube and the Kevlar doesn't come out. And then you take the strippers, cut the outer jacket and st strip it off. Separate the buffer tube from the Kevlar and cut all the Kevlar off to about an eighth of an inch with your Kevlar cutters. And then your next step, you want to strip back the buffer tube to reveal your fiber optic glass. Next step that you want to do after that is remove the acrylic coating with your strippers. Remove the excess with your fingers. And then you want to get a little bit of alcohol to clean it all off. It's pretty much your last step in making sure that it's off. Make sure it's squeaky clean. We're going to take the glass and put it into the hot melt that has been heating up while doing the other steps. And we're going to put it through as carefully as possible. And now we want to place it on the cooling rack for a, a couple of minutes. Now what you do is you slide your crimp ring up, grab a pair of crimpers, we're going to crimp it in two different locations here. We're going to crimp it at the top of the crimp ring, and the bottom of the crimp ring. like so. Now you can slide your strain relief boot up. Looks good. We will use our scribe to scribe and remove the glass that is on there. You want to be gentle when you're doing this step. Cut it. Take it and pick it off. So the next step that we do after scribing is using the wax paper to polish the glass down so it's no longer sticking out of the ferrule and to remove any glue that is on top of the ferrule. So you want to take it and be gentle, don't press too hard. And you want to do a series of 10 figure eights at a time, as so. And then you take it and you look into the microscope and then see how much more you have to do. So the next step after doing a dry polish is doing a wet polish and for this one you'll need a polishing puck. You just want to take a little bit of alcohol, clean the bottom of it, make sure it's clean. And then you take some alcohol and you put it on your durometer pad. Doesn't need to be a lot. Then you put your polishing film down and then some more alcohol on top. Put your puck down. Take your cable, carefully put it in. For this one, you want to do the figure eights just like you did for the dry polish. Move the figure eight about ten times. And this cleans it. And then take it out, and now you want to go look at it in the microscope. So after you wet polish, you want to put your cable into the microscope. Plug it in. Focus it in. That's what your end result will look like.